First up is the 143rd State Assembly District. And we will begin with Democratic incumbent, Monica Wallace. Good morning, and thank you so much for accommodating me um, early this morning. I am delighted to appear virtually uh, with all of you. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have the chance to meet at Southeast Works the way we normally do, but I'm delighted that we can still continue with this forum. Um, if you recall, I first introduced myself to all of you four years ago. And at the time, I said I was new to politics. Um, I wasn't somebody who was political. I was just a mom who really cared about our community and wanted to be a strong voice for Western New York in, um, in Albany. And I assured you at the time that I would be an ally for the disability community. And I'd like to think that I've kept that promise. I've worked very hard over the past four years to make sure that um, we allocate resources and uh, enhance protections for people with disabilities. I stood firm in the Be Care, I'm sorry, pardon me, the Be Fair to Direct Care campaign to make sure that those who care for some of our most vulnerable citizens uh, receive a fair living wage. Um, I've been working with um, individuals who represent the Dawny community, as I'm sure Rhonda and JR and Kevin Horrigan will tell you. And um, I've delivered local resources as well, um, bringing the first ADA, helping to bring the first ADA compliant swing, swing set to, to Cheektowaga, um, bringing resources to organizations that help uh, individuals and whose mission it is, is to help individuals with disabilities like Fantastic Friends, um, Danceability, Sazi. Um, and, and during the, I'm sorry. Oh, did somebody say something? Okay. And during the pandemic, uh, I regularly checked in with uh, representatives of Donnie, group home operators, employees of those homes to see how things were going and how I could help connect them with what they needed. Um, we are facing difficult times ahead, no doubt, and I don't think that we're out of this, but I can assure you that um, if given the opportunity to return to Albany, I will do my best to advocate for this community and for all Western New Yorkers to make sure that they have what they need to thrive. So thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak with you this morning, and um, I look forward to taking your questions. Thank you. We have time for just a couple of short questions. Um, I'll ask the first, and we have provided you with four questions, and I'll just do a very short inversion, um, which relates to promoting employment opportunities for people with developmental disabilities. How would you respond to that question? So, um, well, I have definitely, uh, I'm, I'm obviously an advocate of, of making sure that we have um, opportunities for individuals uh, supporting tax credits, supporting the preferred provider program. I've actually, before the pandemic, I actually even had a conversation with um, Kevin Horrigan about the possibility of creating a special job fair for individuals with um, disabilities to help employers connect with these individuals who are seeking opportunities. So you have an advocate in me in that, and I look forward to doing what I can to continue to enhance the opportunities for individuals with disabilities so that they can live their fullest life. Thank you. We'll have our final question with Nancy and Jim Bojanowski, who are members of the Donnie Family Committee. Thank you, Ms. Wallace. Please discuss your thoughts on what you see as the role of and the rights of people with developmental disabilities to live, work, and enjoy their lives as members of our community, and how we as a society can reduce barriers, promote social inclusion, and champion their rights as citizens to participate fully in the world? Well, thank you. First of all, good morning, and thank you for that wonderful question. And, uh, and I think, uh, as I mentioned earlier, one of the ways that we can do that is to invest in programs that will help individuals with disabilities live their fullest lives, whether that is making sure that we invest in education for them, um, invest in programs that advance inclusion, invest in organizations that, whose mission it is 
is to um, really advance the status of individuals with disabil disabilities and connect them to whatever it is that they need. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to have fantastic friends in my community and I just think it's a wonderful organization. Um, I, last year I, I had the opportunity to go to their banquet and it was one of the most moving experiences. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. And I think that that's a perfect example of how we can really help advance inclusion and uh, make sure that everyone in Western New York, especially people who, who have disabilities, have the opportunity to really live their fullest life and have whatever it is that they need to enjoy every right of citizenship. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Um, you were our, uh, our test case, uh, our very first. So <laughs> thanks for helping us out and, and joining us today. Well, thank you. You all have a wonderful forum and, and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you.